Угу. Hey guys, Tyler Burry here with Bass Fishing HQ. Today I want to talk about the most important tip when flipping and pitching in the spring. Stay tuned, it's going to be a good one. So hey guys, we're out here. It's the spring of the year, right? And the birds are chirping. It's a great time to have a flipping stick in your hand. I do wanna say sorry that I have my sunglasses on right now. You can't see my beautiful eyes, but the sun is absolutely blasting me in the face right now. And I'd just be sitting here squinting the whole time if I took them off. So anyways, today I wanna to talk about the most important tip that I can give you guys when flipping and pitching during the spring. And to be honest and to be realistic, I can't just give you one tip for the entire spring, right? Because the spring is kind of like I said in other videos, it's made up of three different months. There's a lot of transition during those months. And so just one single tip for the entire spring isn't going to do it. But what I am going to do is give you one tip for each phase of the spring, which includes the pre-spawn, the spawn, and the post spawn. Those are the phases that you're going to encounter during the spring of the year. So let's first talk about pre-spawn. And the pre-spawn is typically when that water is anywhere between 46, 47, and, and 60 degrees. And this is when the first are first starting to just move up and get really shallow. Now, this is a great time of year to be flipping and pitching. A lot of fish are moving shallow, whether you're flipping a jig or some sort of soft plastic, you can catch a lot of big fish this time of the year by flipping and pitching. The, the most important tip that I can give you while fishing during the spring, you really want to be selective when it comes to the weight of your jig. Now if you're like me and if you're like a lot of bass fishermen out there, the first jig that you're going to reach for is typically like that 3 8 to half ounce, maybe a 5 8 ounce jig. Those are kind of your bread and butter jigs. It's a jig that you love. It's a jig that you're used to. Now in the spring, I think rate of fall is extremely important when it comes to your lure. I think that sometimes a slower rate of fall, especially during the pre-spawn, is going to help you to get more bites. That water is a little bit cooler. There's a lot of fish and critters that are in the water that aren't moving quite as fast yet. And so sometimes stepping down to that quarter ounce size or that 3 16 ounce size or even smaller an eighth ounce size can really mean a big difference in between you just catching a few fish and you catching a lot of fish. So during the pre-spawn of the year, the biggest thing that I wanna tell you is be selective. Make sure you're experimenting with the weight of your lure because again, I think that the fish just moving up, sometimes that slower fall can really get you a lot more bites during the pre-spawn. Now let's talk about the spawn of the year. And typically this is when water temperatures are kind of in that 60 to 70 degree range. A lot of it depends on weather conditions, whether you've had some flooding conditions or, or bad weather. There's a lot of things that go in it, but typically 60 to 70 degrees is when the spawn is gonna be happening on the lake or river that you're fishing. Now, when it comes to flipping and pitching during the spawn, this is again, a great time to be flipping and pitching because a lot of fish are up shallow. For the most part, the, the majority of them are shallow and they're, they're making beds and they're actually on beds when you're catching them flipping and pitching. Sometimes we don't even know that we're actually catching a fish that's on a bed because we just, we flip up there next to a stump. But what happens is you actually flip right onto a bed and you actually start working that bait. So the most important tip that I can give you by far during the spawn of the year, again, when water temperatures are 60 to 70 degrees, is if you catch one fish, even if it's a small fish, actually, especially if it's a small fish, make sure you make that same flip again and again and again. Because again, guys, these fish might be on beds when you're flipping and pitching during the spawn. And, and if you flip against that stump, what happens sometimes is you'll catch the male. And the male is typically smaller, right? A lot of times a male is a, a 12 inch to maybe 15 inch fish, somewhere between one and two pounds. And that female may actually be right there with him and you don't catch him because typically the male is more aggressive. So typically you catch the male first. So a lot of times if you catch that male, what you wanna do is make sure you repeat 
repeated casts to the exact same spot a number of times because a lot of times what will happen is that female will be there on the bed and you're gonna actually eventually tick her off enough that she's gonna bite and a lot of times she's a lot bigger. I mean, I'm talking three, four, five, six, seven pounds depending on what lake that you're fishing on. This is gonna be the big fish. So if you're fishing, if you're flipping and pitching during the spawn and you catch a small fish, make sure you do repeated casts and flips to that exact same area. Okay guys, now transitioning into the post spawn of the year. This is when that water temperature is 70 degrees plus, you know, into that 80, 85 degrees. And guys, the most important tip that I can give you guys, make sure you fish the entire water column when you're flipping and pitching during the post spawn. And what I mean by this is guys, during the post spawn, you're gonna have some fish that stay shallow. You're gonna have some fish that start to move out deep. So when you start fishing on any given day, what I like to do is make my flip, but I'm gonna flip up shallow, but I'm gonna work that bait out farther than I do typically during the pre-spawn and even during the spawn. I'm gonna really work that bait. For instance, if I'm fishing a channel swing bank, which is a great pattern to fish during the post spawn, I'm gonna flip and pitch my bait real shallow and I'm gonna work that bait all the way down deep because what you're gonna find some days during the post spawn is that sometimes the fish are all really deep Sometimes they're hanging in 10, 12 foot of water, and sometimes they're all really shallow, even though they're close to that deep water. So I really like to work the entire water column during the post bomb, because again, those fish are starting to get spread out. Sometimes you might fish behind somebody and they're flipping up shallow and keeping that bait really shallow. And what you're doing is working the bait just a little bit deeper than they are. And you're actually picking off the fish that they're missing. So that's an extremely important tip to do when you're flipping and pitching in the spring. Guys, I hope that you understand what I'm talking about in these tips. If you don't, leave a comment below, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.